Uh, could you please state your name, organization, and describe the work that you do in the human rights education field? Yeah, my name is Brian Farrell, and I'm an associate professor of instruction and associate director of the Center for Human Rights at the University of Iowa College of Law. Uh, in this role, I do teaching within the College of Law. I also am director of and teach in our undergraduate human rights program, uh, University of Iowa. We offer a human rights certificate through the College of Law. Uh, I do programmatic work and administrative work for our Center for Human Rights. Uh, and I also do some teaching at the University of Galway in Ireland every year. So much. Um, could you share one aspect of your human rights education work that you're especially proud of? Yeah, so uh, I really enjoy teaching. I really enjoy teaching both undergrads and law students. Uh, but one of the things that has been most, I think, satisfying for me is as I looked around uh, kind of our region and the state of Iowa, um, I realized that there are a lot of other colleges and universities that don't have human rights programs, don't have uh, people teaching exclusively in human rights. And yet there's a lot of interest there. There are faculty members who want to be teaching human rights, uh, students who are interested in the topic. And so it's been, I think, over 10 years now, we started to do some outreach. Uh, Iowa has a lot of small liberal arts schools. So there's about 30 colleges and universities around the state. And we started making connections with people who were teaching topics related to human rights with the goal of creating a network within higher education of faculty members who were interested in or teaching in human rights subjects, just so we could connect with one another and build some capacity for teaching and for uh, enhancing our work around the state and at our institutions. And so that was kind of a fun effort to meet a lot of new people, uh, many of whom didn't have a lot of formal background in international human rights, um, but again, were very interested or were teaching things that uh, it turns out were quite related, but haven't thought about them as human rights topics. Um, and then from that initial network organization of colleagues from around the state, we started uh, creating an annual research conference for students at these institutions. And so for the past 10 years, we've been hosting an annual Iowa Human Rights Research Conference, where we invite undergraduate, graduate professional students from colleges and universities around the state and around uh, the greater region to come together and present research projects, creative works that they have done with the Human Rights Connection um, and it's kind of a great one day conference where people are able to meet other faculty members, students, community members who are interested in issues, topics, um, uh, theory related to human rights. Uh, and so that's been going on this last year. We hosted it here in Iowa City and we had over 100 attendees. We had about 30 students presenting uh, so that is a really enjoyable uh, annual event that also feels like it is enhancing or increasing the dialogue around human rights work and the capacity for human rights scholarship and research here in the state, which is very cool. Amazing. Thank you so much for that work. Um, do you think you could share a little bit about why you think human rights education and training is important? Yeah, um, so it's civic education. I mean, I, I guess I view human rights as an important uh, foundational concept for our post-war world. Um, you know, human rights is uh, provides a system that hopefully um, increases the ability of 
peoples and countries to live in a peaceful and secure world. And part of that is informing people about their rights and the rights of others. Uh, I also think it's very important for people to understand the events that led to the creation of the human rights system after the Second World War. And I think that, uh, you know, Holocaust education and uh, education about the atrocities of the war is a very important part of that uh, for us to start to learn what the high ideals were that led to the creation of the system that we are we're trying to teach people about. Um, and also human rights education is a part of the Universal Declaration. It's a part of what uh, countries have agreed to do uh, through their international commitments. So I see it as, again, kind of a, a good way to inform uh, individuals about their own rights and also to see the world uh, in a, a different a different way through through a different lens. Thank you for your insight. And then finally, could you share how your connection to Human Rights Educators USA has made a difference to you? Yeah, um, as with our network here in Iowa, being part of a national organization with international connections uh, that is committed to human rights education has been really useful in terms of building connections with people who are doing similar work to me uh, providing resources, increasing the capacity of, you know, my and our center's ability to uh, engage in human rights education. Uh, one thing that has been very cool about it, uh, and you heard me kind of talking about my work here in Iowa, which has very much been at the college and university level, uh, but HRE USA, of course, is doing a lot of work with primary and secondary educators. And so it has been kind of a, a neat way for me to get exposure to how human rights is being taught at other levels uh, in the educational system. And even more recently, um, I've been on the Youth Awards Committee, and it's provided me a front row seat to see more of the great work that young people are doing themselves. And I think that has been very cool. It's very inspiring, and it is very encouraging. Thank you so much for your time and for all that you do for human rights education. Absolutely. My pleasure.